What up guys, Ragnar here again. Time for another one of these unboxings. I'm getting a little concerned. We're getting to, we're down to the last two of this shipment that I have, and I'm still looking for something that I would be overly excited for in terms of the shirt. Uh, again, we've gotten good stuff in basically every other category. Uh, well, I did like the Hulkamania shirt. That is freaking awesome. But, um, you know, uh, Hulk Hogan stuff, like, I can, I can get that anywhere for almost nothing, because it all exists. Or, there's just so much of it, rather. Um, so let's see what we've gotten here today. Huh. Okay. Something I don't know. So let's take a look. I'm gonna look at the shirt first this time, because that's the part that I'm the most interested in. Fingers crossed. Okay. What do we have? Oh, man. <laughs> oh, it's the same on both sides. Okay. Well, as you can see, I uh, I got a Velvet Sky shirt. And that's uh, an interesting analog for, for disappointment. Um, I actually quite like Velvet Sky. I, lo I, I like the beautiful people a lot because they're such, such good heels. Uh, they've become more endearing to me as time goes by because I hate them so much. Um, would I ever want to wear a shirt, you know, representing Velvet Sky? Probably not. But, um, you know what? Uh, you, know, you know what? What the hell? I'll wear it. it uh, I'm a hipster douchebag. I can wear things that I don't actually like. <laughs> oh, that makes me so sad. There's one shirt left in there and I, I kind of feel like it's not going to be, it's, it's not going to be a Hardy shirt or a Willow shirt. If it is, I will, I will crap my pants. But, uh, let's, okay, we've got, uh, I can already tell the figure is going to be one of the ones from the same series as the, uh, Matt Morgan figure, so let's take a look at what we got. Oh my god! <laughs> okay, um... Like I said before, my roommates were trying to have themes with these, and I now have discovered one of them. This is apparently the Velvet Sky themed one. So, I guess that'll, that'll go up on the, uh, the shelf here, and perhaps she'll hold up the, uh, the Best of the Knockouts DVD. Oh, man. That's... Well, alright. You know what? Fuck it. I'm down with that. That's... That's fantastic. Why not? Is there, now, you can't really tell what the banners are until you open them, but I'm wondering if somehow my roommates discerned that this will be a Velvet Sky banner. But let's, let's take a look. No? No, it actually looks like it may be something of the male persuasion, which would be a sort of a first besides that sort of generic one that I got. Again, if you guys know what that one is, I tried to look it up. I couldn't figure out what the hell it is. What do we got here? Oh, man. Yeah, I'm not ever going to hang that up. This screamy, man. What is, who are you? are you? Oh, you're AJ. Oh, it is AJ Styles. Oh, man. Okay. So, I guess with the... Uh, the that makes sense. So, I guess they... Uh, Along with the, um, where is it? Along with the Best of AJ Styles Volume 2 that I got in the last bag, they, they also send the AJ Styles banner. Now, Velvet Sky shirt, Velvet Sky, Knockouts DVD. She's not on the Knockouts DVD, but still. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that's tangentially related. Tangentially, tangentially related. So, is Volume 1 either in here or in there? Or is there an AJ Styles shirt in that band? bag, and in which case, I'm going to be very sad. But, uh, let's, let's take a look at the DVDs, see what we get this week. Okay, we've got, oh, oh, yes, this is good. These are things I like. Okay, we got, oh man, you got Taz and the Road Warrior right on the front. That, that, that works out quite well. That's back when they were wearing blue. I guess that wasn't that long ago. All right, cool. So we've got um, TNA Wrestling Greatest Moments. So this is a, a compilation, you know, disc. Um, that's that's fine. I'll watch that. Uh, fan approved 
Made by the fans. Okay. Well. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll watch that. I'm I'm a fan of like um, with every with all of like the, the WWE like DVDs and stuff like that. They all come with like um, a documentary on them and stuff like that. So like you, you buy like the the Road Warrior set or like the Rob Van Dam set. Actually, I don't know if the Rob Van Dam set has one on it, but you, you buy them for you know, the matches, to watch some of the old matches, but then you get, like, this little documentary about their life with it as well, and that's pretty cool, and that's, you know, you can put this in the same sort of vein, it's just, like, s seeing some of the, the moments, or maybe this is more like Attitude, where it, it's just a bunch of the really, really famous stuff, maybe there isn't even any matches on there, don't know, I'll have to check that out, um, interviews, RVD defeats Jeff Jarrett and AJ Styles on the same night, okay, so maybe there is full matches, or maybe there's clips, don't know, but excited to watch it nonetheless. Um, we've got this one, which I've seen in a couple of different... Uh, I have looked up other uh, videos for the brown bags. This one is uh, The Best of the Asylum Years, Volume 1. So this is uh, the really old stuff. And, um, you know, I'm I'm excited to watch that quite a lot. I You know, in the comments I said, hey... If you could give me old pay-per-views, that's fine. They don't have to be $20 DVDs. I specifically said that, just give me the older stuff, that's what I want. And, I mean, you can't get much more, much older than the Asylum years, so um, that's that's good. Uh, excited for that. We'll watch. Very happy. And then we've got two more pay-per-views. It, seem, it seems to be the ratio is two pay-per-views, two best subs for each one that I've gotten. Um, is that correct? Best of AJ Styles knockouts, uh, and then Sacrifice and SummerSlam, yeah, Christian Stan. Yeah, that seems about right. So it's, it seems I'm getting two pay-per-views and two best ofs with every bag, which, you know, is a fine ratio for me. Um, okay. So we got Slamversary 2006, again, older stuff. That is fine by me. Do we have anything interesting on here? Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner. Again, Scott Steiner. Every time I see him, I'm just like, Jesus, what happened, man? Because, like, I I, I love the old ECW Hardcore TV, and, and uh, I like the Hogan era and the, the New Generation era and stuff like that. But watching Scott Steiner back then versus watching Scott Steiner on TNA is two completely different things. It's pure madness. Um, 3D... Yeah, War Machine, Rhino. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Excited for that. We'll watch. Well, again, anything I get, I'll watch. So I guess it doesn't make sense that I keep saying that. And lastly, we've got Bound for Glory 2011. One of the newer ones. Um, that's pretty good, because if, if I remember correctly, this one is not exactly cheap. I I, I have it on Amazon on my like wish list, but... Uh, I remember it not being one of the cheapest ones because I, at a point I was just going to buy all of the the Bound for Glory um, ones all in one shot, but uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't. Well, I've gotten one, maybe two so far, and now I can't remember. I've gotten a couple of Slammiversaries, and that's pretty sweet. But anyway, um, yeah, TNA Bound for, Glo Bound for Glory. This one has been, in a weird way, this one's been my favorite one so far between the, the DVDs the freaking Velvet Sky action figure in the Velvet Sky shirt. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? If I ever go to uh, a live TNA event, I will wear that damn shirt, and I will tape that action figure to my shoulder. Why not? Um, anyway, that's been one more of these. We've got one more to go before, you know, we mark the end of this first series, and I decide whether or not I'm going to invest in some more. Um... Don't know. Uh, I've gotten a lot of DVDs that I like, so, you know, maybe I've gotten no duplicates. Zero duplicates. They only guaranteed the first three bags, but I guess, you know, since I had I ordered six all at once, they they made a point not to give me any, any duplicates, and I appreciate the hell out of that, TNA. Good job. Thank you very much. Um, they haven't given me a duplicate action figure. They haven't given me a duplicate banner. They haven't given me a duplicate shirt. That's incredibly nice of them. So, um... Yeah, maybe I'll order a couple more and we'll see, then we'll see how many duplicates I get. We'll see how many copies of the Asylum Years I end up, or how many of these knockouts, ladies of wrestling, I get. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Ragnar signing off.